Hi guys, have you created a YouTube intro for your video on YouTube before? Have you created a YouTube intro for your channel? If you have not, you need to consider that as soon as possible. A YouTube intro will give your channel the opportunity to introduce itself to people. Okay, your YouTube intro is very important. Now, let me tell you quickly, there is a difference between a YouTube intro and also a video trailer of your channel. Now, the differences are this. A YouTube video trailer is the first video non-subscribers get to see whenever they visit your channel for the first time, okay? It comprises of introduction, what your channel is all about, call to action, you know, what you do, and the kind of audience that you are targeting, okay? And a video trailer usually can take up to three minutes in some cases, okay? Some can take up to just two minutes. But when it comes to YouTube intro video, it is the video that you place at the beginning of any video you want to upload to your channel, okay? So it is usually between one to 10 seconds. You want to capture the attention of your viewers. You want to tell them what your name is, what your channel is all about. You want to tell them what you are doing with your channel. You want to ask them to follow you on other social media platforms and it's an animated video, you know, it's just beautiful, okay? So a YouTube intro beautifies your YouTube channel, whether you like it or not. I want you to consider that today. So today, I want to show you how you can create a YouTube intro for all your videos. And you can just have one YouTube intro video and use that for every video that you upload to your YouTube channel. So please follow me carefully as I show you how you can create a YouTube intro video using Canva, okay? So what you need to do, you need to log into canva.com online using your PC, go to canva.com. So when you come to canva.com, now I want to show you two major ways you can create a YouTube intro for all your videos. Very simple ways, but I am going to start with the hardest one, okay? And then I'll finish it up with a simple one that you can think of. So let's go ahead as I show you how you can create a YouTube intro using your Canva. So when you come to Canva, it looks like this. Look at the search space here, click on it. So here you will type in YouTube banner, YouTube banner, okay? When you are creating your YouTube intro, make sure that it's on landscape, okay? It's on a landscape position. So you use YouTube banner here and then you click on it. So when it opens now, these are different types of YouTube banner that you can have. You know, I've shown you before how you can create a YouTube banner for all your videos that you upload to YouTube. But this time around, we are not going to use any of these pre-designed banner, okay? We will start by creating one by ourselves. Look at it here, create a blank YouTube banner, then you click on it. So this is a landscape image already, okay? It's blank and there is nothing. So the first thing you want to do here is to change the color. What is your color code? Okay, I have taught you how you can choose a color code for your YouTube channel before. So what is your color code? What kind of color do you want to use? So you will come here, look at it, click here to change the background color. Okay, for me, now, if you don't have any of those colors here, you can click on this plus sign and then put in your color code here. So the color code I want to use is FFD 700, like this. I like this color so much. It's a very beautiful color, okay? So this is the color code we are using. So this is your background. This is everything that you are going to start up with. So the next thing you want to do is to put in your text. What is the name of your channel? We want to add the name of our channel. So this is the name of my channel. Take this up a little. And then the next thing you want to do is you add another text, always delivering the best. So we want to change the color. What is your color code? You click here to change your text color. So for me, the color code I want to use is 8,800. Same thing goes for this one. It's there already. 
So what kind of font do you want to use? You come here, you click here to change the font. What kind of font do you want to use? I love using impacts. Okay. And then this can carry another different font. Let's say something like this. And then you increase the fonts. You increase the size. Okay. Make sure it's centered. Okay. Look at this line. Let's increase this a little bit. Make it bold. Ultimate V always delivering the best. Now, this is your right top. This is how your, your right top looks like. Okay. This is what you want to push to the face of people. This is your brand name. This is your brand color and all of that. So the next thing we want to do here is this. You go to elements. Look at elements. Now, mind you, you can use your phone for the same thing I am doing here right now. It's very possible, okay? So, you go to element and then you type in subscribe. Let's go for this one. Good. And then you drag it down. So, the next thing you want to do now is to go to your element. We are still there. You want to type in arrow. So, you have to type in animated arrow, okay, or arrow animate. And then it shows you different types here. So we'll be using this one. You click on it. And then you are to adjust it here right now. So these are the processes you can use to create an intro for your YouTube channel. So the next thing we want to do is to duplicate the page. Okay. You will have it first page and second page. All of them will be animated. But before we do that, you have to animate this. Okay. Look at animate here. Click on it. So how do you want it to show? Okay. How do you want your intro to appear in your video? These are ways. These are different ways it can, it can show you. So you can use any of them here. Let's use this one. And then you come here. You click on both. So this is your first page of your YouTube intro. If you want, you can include your logo on this image, on this first page, if you want, okay? So, we'll now move to the second page of this. Then you click on add page here. Now, it brings you here. The next thing you want to do is to begin to bring in your social media handles, okay? So, to do that, you go to element and then you click on element. Here, you type in circles. A circle like this and then you search... So you use this one and then place it here, okay? Place it here. You can duplicate it here. Click here to duplicate. So this is how it is. Now, the first one, you want to put in Facebook. So you come here to element and then you type Facebook, Facebook logo, okay? Click on Facebook logo and then it brings out all of these for you. So you choose the logo you want to use. Okay, look at them. Let's go for this. And then you also reduce the size a bit. Reduce the size and then drag it down to fit into this box. Okay. Then the next thing you want, assuming you are on Facebook, assuming you are on Instagram, you're on Twitter, which is now called X, or any other social media platform, you can include all of them here just so that people... Your subscribers can reach out to you whenever they come across this. Okay, so you type in Instagram, Instagram logo, look at it here, you click on it. So we will use this one right here, still reduce it in size a bit. You can have different social media handles all in this place. Okay, so the next thing you want to do now is to go back to your element. Go back to your element, then you search term like this, and then search. So it opens up all of these. Now we want to use this one. You click on it, and then you reduce it a bit. You may want to drag it a bit like this, and then you fix it up here. Okay, so let's duplicate it here. So the next thing to do is to go to position, look at position, click on position. Okay, so we'll take it backward, click on backward, again, good. And then you do the same here, backward, backward. So can you see this? The next thing you want to do is to add a text. What is your name on Facebook? 
Okay, if it's a Facebook page you want to introduce to your audience, or if it's your personal page you want to introduce to your audience, this is what you need to do. Let's say you want to introduce your page to your audience, then you put in your text here. So as the name of your page on Facebook, you come here, you copy this. And then you reduce it, take it in to fit in here. So same name on Instagram, fit same name on Instagram, you do the same thing here, okay? So this is how you set it all up, okay? Now, if you have other social media handles, you can follow these steps just to make sure that you get everything done, okay? So you click on the background. The next thing you want to do is to add an image, okay? You could go to your Facebook or you could go to your Instagram page or wherever you have a cascade of images, okay? Just to put at the background of this. So you go to Uploads, click on Uploads, and then you want to add, it could be image of yourself, it could be image of, you know, whatever image you want to include to the background. So assuming we want to use this, you drag it all up to fit in. And then you click on transparency. You want to reduce it like this. So you go back to elements and then you type in iPhone. So which one do you want to use? Let's go for this and place it here. So the next thing, you bring up an image here, go back to uploads. All of this is for the purpose of this tutorial, okay? All of this is for the purpose of this tutorial. You take this image here, and then try to fit it in. Let it fill up. And then the next thing, you go to position here, you click on backward. Take it backward and then you arrange this here to fit in. Can you see that? So mind you, when you are bringing up an image here, it could be a video, a short clip, maybe from a screen record that you do just to place in the phone, okay? That will be very good if you do it that way. Now, can you see everything is fitted in here? Add another right top, go to text and then Add the subheading, connect with me. Then the next thing, you want to change the font of connect with me. Could use this one, okay? Then it's set up like this, connect with me, okay? So you go back here, you want to add a few touches to this. Drag this down a little, and this here. Then you go and add a subheading, we build YouTube channel, like this. Then you change the writings, you have something like this. And then the next thing you need to do here, you go back to this, okay? And then you animate it, click here. So these are different animations you want to consider. You reduce the intensity, okay? So this is it, okay? This is how you can create YouTube intro for your videos on YouTube. Very simple. But for me, this is one of the most complicated approaches that you may want to consider using, okay? Now, when you are done with this, look at the share button here. Click on share. You go and click on download. Now, you are going to download this. Look at this arrow pointing down. You are going to download this as MP4 video, okay? And then you just click on download, that's all. Now, the next one you want to create is very simple. You don't need to stress yourself. Just type in YouTube intro like this, and then you search. Now, these are different pre-designed YouTube intro on Canva for you. You don't need to stress yourself. All you just need to do is to click anyone that suits you, suits your brand, suits your color, or whatever. In fact, you can change your color you can change the writings, whatever it is. These are professional 
designs okay so whichever suits you please go and click on it and begin to download we are using this one then you click on customize this template so it brings you here right now the next thing you want to do is what is the name of your youtube channel you type in ultimate need and then here if you have a website of course you can include the website here and any other thing that you intend to do okay so whatever your write-up signifies you can also change it here you can change it here okay you can add a write-up maybe for you like this and then you drag it to fit in for you then you drag it to fit in right here good you can change this right up always delivering the best ultimate we always delivering the best and then this you can put www.ultimatesbeat.com okay like this and then the next thing you want to add go to element and then go to add a subscribe button okay subscribe let's use this so you add an arrow to this so I want to use this one, bring it here, and then you reduce the size, and you make this good. So this is one way you can also create a YouTube intro for your videos. Very easy steps. Just go and type in YouTube intro. Then edit all the things that you want to edit, your write-ups, your colors, your subscribe button. Okay, you could add a little information, your social media handles, and all of those things just to give a very beautiful color and setup to your YouTube intro video. Okay, remember I told you the YouTube intro is the first video, very few seconds that your audience get to see before they begin to watch whatever content you've uploaded there. Okay, so you can change the duration here. Click on duration. Okay, as it suits you. Okay, so this is how you can create. A YouTube intro then you go to share please if you like this content I want you to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell to keep in touch from us and also please like this video so when you come to share here then you go to download you can use mp4 okay so all of these you can take it to 4k resolution if you want reduce it a any of them that you want to do it's fine so that is how you then you download you are done with your YouTube intro. Congratulations to you.